Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today we'll be showing you how to configure mods for Bluemap. Bluemap is automatically looking for mods and data packs in your server files. If it finds them, it will try to load them and break up its resources to be able to render any additional blocks. If you don't want this, you can turn this auto discovery off in the core.config file. Next to scan for mod resources, you can change it from true to false. Some mods add special blocks or biomes that Bluemap can't easily read from the mod's resources. For this, you can add some configs to tell Bluemap how to render those blocks and biomes. We will show you some configs that you can use. Basically, you will be creating a special resource pack for Bluemap. You need to put these config files in a .zip file or folder and then put that into the Bluemap resource packs folder. The examples we will be showing throughout this video can be found on the wiki and you can copy the configs from there. Keep in mind that doing these custom configs is only necessary if Bluemap did not recognize the blocks and biomes automatically. There will be three config files to edit and we will be showing examples one by one and a real example towards the end of this video. If you have any issues, you can join the Bluemap Discord server and contact the mods on there to help you. Here's an example config for block properties. Usually Bluemap tries to guess those properties based on the block's model. But if that guess is not correct, you can change the render behavior of a block with this config. Always waterlogged are blocks that are waterlogged by default. They don't need the waterlogged property to be rendered as a waterlogged block. Random offset are blocks that have a small random offset to break the grid-like pattern. In vanilla Minecraft, this is done for grass blocks and flowers. Occluding is used to determine if the block is occluding light when calculating the ambient occlusion on blocks close to it. Here's an example config for block colors. Some blocks like grass, leaves, water, or redstone are dynamically colored. Those colors could either be static or changed by biome or properties. Possible values are foliage, grass, or water to use the foliage, grass, or water color of the biome to color the block. Redstone is used for the power level of the block, so it is used for redstone blocks. And you can use static color using a CSS style color hex like the example shown here. And lastly, here's an example config for biomes. If a mod adds a new biome, Bluemap needs to know some properties of that biome to calculate things like grass and foliage color. You can define these using this config with properties such as humidity, temperature, water color, foliage color, and grass color. Undefined biomes will be treated as an ocean biome. The biomes config only works for worlds that are in Minecraft versions 1.18 and above. Now we'll be applying all three of the configs shown previously to the biome so planning mod to show you how this works more clearly. We'll start with a block properties config. Make sure to add the mod name first, then type in the NBT tag of the item or block. First, we have water grass, which is a waterlogged block, so we will set that to true. Next, we have wildflowers, which we want to have a small random offset to break the grid-like pattern, so we will set that to true as well. And lastly, we have mahogany leaves, and we will set the ambient occlusion to false. Now we'll continue with a block colors config. For magic leaves, we will set it to a static color using a CSS style color hex code. And for the clover, we will set it to foliage so that it uses the foliage color of the biome it's placed in. And lastly, here's a biomes config. We'll be adding properties for two kinds of biomes. Here you need to add the humidity and temperature for each biome, then you can add the color for water, grass, or foliage. Once you're done with writing the configs, make sure to save them as .json files. Then combine them into a .zip file or folder. Then you'll need to add them to the Bluemap resource packs folder. Go to your service control panel. Click on files, then config. 
Go to the blue map folder, then open the resource packs folder. Just drag and drop the file here, then restart your server. If any issues occur, you can join the Bluemap Discord server and contact the mods on there to help you. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching!